Hi and welcome back. So my last NMN website review generated quite a lot of interest and some requests. This is the first of those. It's a German company. Let's jump in and see what this German NMN company has got to offer. So this week's company selling NMN, nicotinamide mononucleotide is molecular, strange spelling. This is their logo. Uh, and this is the comment from Armand Killick, who asked for this particular review. I thank him for that. So now we know who this company are. Let's dive in and see what they've got to offer. So this is their homepage. It's a WooCommerce site using the Woodmart theme. It looks good. Uh, that isn't difficult nowadays with the simplicity of the plug and play templates that Shopify, WooCommerce and Wix, uh, etc. offer. Where in the past a poorly designed website could have been a good indicator of a less than reputable company, a well designed site nowadays just means they've paid someone on Upwork or Fiverr a couple of hundred dollars to put it all together. The quality of the website is in no way a reflection of the quality of any company's supplements or products. So how long have molecular.de been trading? I tried using name.com as I normally do and a couple of other sites, but for some reason this website doesn't disclose the information as all the other sites do. I'm not sure why. They don't want people to know when they were formed when the website was created. So I've got no idea how long they've been selling longevity supplements or how long their website's been live. This may be an issue for some people and for some people it may not really bother them. That's neither here nor there. So will this company be a diamond or will it be a fugazi? Time will tell. Let's dive a little deeper and see what Molecular have got to offer. So this is the homepage that I've said. At the top here you can see you can change between English and German. Um, I've selected English. Now it's extremely frustrating and they need to get a grip of their website designer. As you click from page to page, it keeps defaulting back to German, which is extremely frustrating. Um, if you then mouse over the shop, you can see here they've got chemicals on the left. They've got Youth Eva, Youth Eva NMN, so we'll come back to that later. They sell currently 13 other supplements, and we'll talk about resveratrol later too. If you then move across here and click on accessories, you can see here they're going to sell you a jar for seven euros and 90 that's around nine dollars they claim it protects against light temperature and humidity but there's no data on what protection it gives i don't see the need for this i think it's just a gimmick why not just send you the products in black jars if they're talking about resveratrol which is susceptible to light uh, most people then will store it in their fridge anyway so that gets rid of the light the temperature and the humidity problem they're not going to ship you the product in containers made of this so as i said i think it's just a gimmick um, if you then go back to the accessories, they also will sell you a scoop, a plastic scoop, um, which they say is included in every supplement pouch, but not NMN, which is strange. This will cost you €2.50. That's around $2.75 for a plastic spoon. It reads high quality measuring spoon, plastic high quality, not too sure about that, for the correct dosage, but it doesn't state what the size of the spoon is. And different supplements have different weights, hence the reason companies like Duna Age um, give you different size spoons depending on the supplement that you that you buy from them. This one size fits all spoon is an unnecessary gimmick. I don't think it's really needed and is designed to up their profits, I think. So I think these couple of points here will earn them their first red flag. So in a second, I'm going to click onto the About Us page to get your, your thoughts on that. I'm not actually going to use the headings here to click through to find the About Us page because it'll then revert back to German which I'm going to have to switch to English so you can read it, unless you speak German, uh, and it's all just going to waste time. So if we click on the About Us page, you can see here they show us their picture, which is good. And I don't want to sound ageist, but if you read the individual's bios, which are a little bit lower, and if you visit the site, you can, you can do that. I think they're a bit further down here. You can read those in a little bit more detail. It explains that they're all still students. Um, is this an issue for you? Do you think it's okay? Or do you think they should concentrate on their studies and not try to run a supplement company as well? It's not like they're young entrepreneurs breaking new ground as Elon Musk did when he was starting PayPal with his brother or SpaceX. These are guys who have jumped on the supplement um, bandwagon, if you like, an existing um, endeavor. Uh, and it looks like they're just trying to make money. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, is the age of these individuals going to be a problem for you? I'd be interested to see. So let's take a look at Molecular's NMM product. It's You can see here it's from Youthiva. They only sell powder. Um, two pictures of the NMM product they've got here. Um, unfortunately, no pictures of the back of the packaging, so you can't look at any more details. Uh, and this picture is just the same as the first one, but a bit of white powder on the side, which I'm assuming 
is NMN. If you scroll down all the way to the bottom of the page, there's an awful lot of good information here about NMN, which I do like. Uh, one thing that caught my eye was this one, fields of application. It states here that according to German and European law, and I think they mean EU law, NMN, nicotinamide mononucleotide, is a chemical that is not safe for human consumption. It is therefore only used for studies, research purposes and laboratory tests in the life science sector. So I'm wondering how they and many other European countries can sell it to individuals for personal consumption. Let me know if you understand what they mean by this particular statement. Uh, if you scroll down a bit further, you can then see they've made another statement about this, where it says not suitable for human consumption, but learn more in our safety data sheet. So I click on this. I'm expecting to see their safety data sheet that talks about the laws of Germany or the European Union with regard to NMN. It, has, it does, however, just open up the EFI farm. Uh, safety data sheet, which Effie Farm is the parent company of Youth Ever. There's nothing in here whatsoever about German or European law. Why Why should there be? Um, this is a Chinese company that sell NMN. They're not bothered about um, European or German law. So I think this confusing statement, also the, the link that doesn't take you to their particular safety data sheet page, and also you can't see the back of the NMN package, is going to earn them their second red flag. Let's now take a look at the cost of Molecular's NMN. Um, let's stick with a 100 gram bag of NMN powder. 100 grams will cost you 169 euros. That's around $185.90. That works out at $1.85 a gram um, in USD. A similar amount of 100 grams from Renew by Science with the 10% My NMN discount code is going to cost you 89 cents a gram. Do not age with the 10% My NMN discount code will cost you $1.05 per gram uh, and even from pro health historically the most expensive the most over the top price even with their 15 percent discount it's still going to cost you only from them one dollar thirty gram so 55 cents cheaper than molecular's nmn renewed by science says the cheapest is 96 cents a gram cheaper than molecular and if you take one gram a day that's going to save you 28 dollars and 80 cents a month and remember it's exactly the same nmn from youth Eva that do not age and pro health longevity use from do not age it's going to save you 80 cents a gram and you, you so you're paying 80 cents a gram more for exactly the same product um, the price of this NMN in my humble opinion is far too expensive um, I'm thinking you're probably going to think the same too let me know in the comments below what you think about the cost of their NMN moving on let's take a look at Molecular's resveratrol you can see here um, the resveratrol powder pictures they do actually show you the back of the packet so you can get a look at all the extra information which i think is good uh, i'm just curious as to why they don't do this with their nmn maybe a lack of attention to detail maybe laziness i don't know again if you scroll down through the page an awful lot of very good information with regard to nmn uh, sorry with regard to resveratrol uh, as a supplement which is great so let's look at the cost of Molecular's resveratrol powder. 100 grams is going to cost you 90 euros. That's around 100 US dollars. That works at $1 a gram. Renewed by Science with the 10% My NMN discount code will cost you 84 cents a gram. Do Not Age with the same code will cost you 94 cents a gram. Pro Health with a 15% My NMN discount is going to cost you only 72 cents a gram. So that's 28 cents a gram cheaper. And if, like David Sinclair, you take one gram a day, that's going to be... A saving of eight dollars forty a month if you buy from Pro Health Longevity. So let's take a look at the certificates of assay, third-party testing. Each page has got its own links to certificates, which is great. Um, you can see here that they show in two certificates. The first one says manufacturer certificate. This is from Effie Farm. Now they are a reputable company, um, but as I've always said, I wouldn't trust a third-party test certificate from the first party. If you go onto the second certificate, this is a third-party test certificate, and if you scroll down. You can see here that the latest batch, which is nice and recent, January 2023, has a purity level of more than 99%, so very good, uh, very similar to the, the big three. Unfortunately, no matter where you look on this certificate or wherever you look on the rest of the site, you're not going to find any results for heavy metals. So we don't know about arsenic, lead, cadmium or mercury, which is a little bit disappointing. So let's move on and take a look at the resveratrol certificates of analysis. So we'll scroll down here to the two links, click on the first one. This one now shows their logo at the top of the certificate, which means either they've tested it themselves 
or the company that's given it to them, they've now stuck their logo on the top for some reason, which whichever option you look at, as far as I'm concerned, I'm quite easily going to ignore because um, they're not independent. And then the second one, which is independent quality inspection, when you click on that, the link that opens is this 404, so nothing to see. So someone somewhere that works for Molecular or their website designer is not doing their job properly. Um, so I think for the high price of the NMN and for the resveratrol, no heavy metal analysis for NMN and no certificates whatsoever for resveratrol, I think that's going to earn them their third red flag. So let's take a look at their Trustpilot page. I search for that. They don't have one, which is a bit disappointing, really. Um, fairly well respected. I did, however, find them here on reviews.io. I don't know how reviews.io compares to Trustpilot when it comes to credibility. Um, they have an overall 4.5 rating from 280 reviews, which is good. Um, I have looked at the negative reviews. You can filter those. The majority of them all seem to revolve around either very slow or no deliveries whatsoever. And you can see here the last review was from uh, the beginning of May, so all very recent. Um, so maybe these guys should focus on up in their delivery department's game or maybe giving the supplement game a miss until they graduate. So I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. And if you're looking for a new supplier or to change your current one and you're in the Europe area, uh, I hope you found this helpful. Let's look at the three main areas I cover. Website to start with, very professional. Lots of information on their products. I did like that. They do need to show the back of the NMN package so customers can get all the information they need. They need to sort out the switching from German to English every time you change the page. Uh, that might be driving away European customers who don't speak German, countries like Italy, France, Spain, uh, Cyprus, etc. And the 404 message when it came to resveratrol and the certificate of analysis, not good at all. As well as the majority of the reviews, which are negative, were all about delivery either late or not coming. That's going to earn them for the website 7 out of 10. Certificates, NMN certificate, very recent, which is good, but no heavy metals, that's bad. Uh, 5 out of 10. Resveratrol, no certificate at all. That's easy. 0 out of 10. Costs, NMN, very expensive when you compare them to the big three. And two of the big three always use the same supplier as this company. Renew by Science, £29 a month more expensive than Renew by Science. And again, still no idea about their heavy metal testing. Resveratrol, again, more expensive than the big three. No certificate of analysis. Uh, that's going to earn them 4 out of 10. So total, 20 out of 50, that's going to earn them two stars. And when we talked about the issues that raised some concern, that, um, that earned them three red flags. Do you agree with this score for Molecular or not? Let me know in the comments below. Would I buy from this company? Probably not. Uh, the issue about them being so young and students is a bit of a, a, bit of a red flag or a bit of a, a stop for me. Um, the products are really expensive when you compare them to the big three and they've got incomplete third-party test certificates. As always, my only my opinion, let me know what you think in the comments below. Feel free to agree. Feel free to disagree 100%. I won't have my feelings hurt. It's not a problem. I'm not a snowflake. Let me know what you think about this company. Let me know would you buy from them. Let me know if you do buy from them. And if you do buy from them, let me know what you think of them.